All right, moving out block. Talking about cereal. So you can see here, I got the Chris Berry Crunch, the knockoff um, Captain Crunch with Crunch Berries. I'm talking about this uh, mostly because you know people like cereal. I like cereal. And for some reason, you know, I just I needed a topic, and I saw the bag. It's empty right now because I ate it all. And I just thought cereal, you know, in particular, you know, knockoff brand cereal has always been kind of silly to me. Like, this isn't too bad. I got this from Kroger for like $3 or something. And that's actually like the best knockoff cereal I've ever had. It tastes exactly like Captain Crunch. It's probably like a little bit off, but it's pretty much exactly the same. It's not like, you know, you'll get... I think the closest you can get is probably the fake Frosted Flakes. Those are probably exactly the same, but if I'm going to get a fake cereal, I'm going to get like something like higher than fake Frosted Flakes. I'm going to get... You know, Captain Crunch or the fake Captain Crunch or fake um, Fruity Pebbles or something like that, which I had. I had like some fake Fruity Pebbles and they taste like tricks, which I love tricks. That's like my second favorite cereal, like right under Fruity Pebbles. So, you know, wasn't too bad. It didn't taste like Fruity Pebbles, of course. It tasted like a completely different cereal, but a good one. So, wasn't bad. But I always wonder about those, like, who. I came up with the idea to just have like knockoff brand cereal at, ch at cheaper prices you know it's like why not just I mean well heck they do have different names we all know exactly what they're supposed to be though cause you know they make them look exactly like the cereal you have frosted flakes and you have like something it would probably just be like frosted cereal or something and then you have like frosted mini wheats and then you have well frosted mini wheats and pretty much the same it's just the different brands that own them and the, obviously the most famous one i believe is general mills i'm pretty sure that's who does frosted mini wheats but you know other people do and they they're pretty much the same so you know some people do like smaller ones i bought some last week they weren't bad they're were, i thought they were pretty good they were not as thick as the general mills ones which is okay because those i love that's those are some that's some really good cereal too but it's so thick sometimes when you eat it and it's just like oh my goodness that's just like too much sometimes but those are really good to me you know and the, like i said the knockoff brand not that bad i saw i remember years ago i saw some fake cereal it was like fake tricks and it was called pranks and instead of a rabbit it was like a raccoon with the with the little um like headband or whatever around his eyes with the eyes cut out and i thought that was like the funniest thing ever they didn't even try it was just like yeah let's just uh you know it's a rabbit we'll just use a raccoon and call it pranks and it's, it's fake tricks i don't know how it tastes i didn't try it but i thought that was really funny um other stuff I'm trying to think like other fake ones oh fake apple jacks like, I can't think of any of the names because, obviously, odds are you don't either unless, you know, you buy it all the time, which you might. Like, I could tell you the Chris Berry Crunch because I get that all the time because, like I said, it's really close to Captain Crunch. And, you know, outside of, like, the fake Fruity Pebble stuff, it's all just, like, fake Honey Nut Cheerios or fake Frosted Flakes, which, you know, I hardly like Honey Nut Cheerios as it is. If I'm going to get Frosted Flakes, I might as well at least get, you know, Tony the Tiger on the box and not, like, Ralph the Rhinoceros or some stupid thing like that. It never had a commercial, but for some reason has a name. And it's just one of those weird things, you know. Like I said, don't know any of the names, but it pretty much any cereal that you have had or even will have has a fake version of it you know like i said the tricks and pranks they odds are they won't sound so similar most of them are just you know completely different weird names like i said like ralph the rhinoceros o's i don't know stupid stuff like that and then you got the specialty cereals which i don't know i haven't really seen any of those they they kind of stopped doing those but you know like old um you know special cereals and they used to have movie cereals basically like if we had like dark knight cereal like you know stuff like that and i can't remember i think i had i think
think I had some Batman cereal before, which they've done a few times for a, a couple of different Batman movies, but I'm pretty sure I had some Batman cereal before a long time ago. It had marshmallows in it. Um, I don't know. I'm surprised a lot of shows don't have it. Like, I think if SpongeBob had cereal, it would sell a lot. If Scooby Doo had cereal, that would probably sell a lot. I suppose, well, you know, especially since it's Scooby Doo, it's a lot older. So, you know, it would. Also, like, Scooby Doo still has a bunch of, like, snacks. Like, the Scooby. They actually have Scooby snacks that you can eat. And then they have, like, the little Scooby Dog. Scooby Dog. Scooby Doo fruit snacks. And I used to get those at school all the time. Those are, like, some of my favorite fruit snacks. But, you know, like, Spongebob or, like, if Adventure Time came out with cereal, I'm sure that would sell like crazy. And, you know, there's a ton of other, like, weird little things that they stopped doing. Like, cereal doesn't really get the whole prize in the box thing anymore. They really just do the little, like, give away. Here's a code. Go online and, you know, put this in and you could win $10,000 or a... Uh, you know, vacation here or there, or whatever it is, but they kind of stopped doing the whole, here's a prize in the box, get like a special Rugrat spoon or something stupid like that, which I'm pretty sure I have, that's why I said it, because it just like flashed in my head, I got a spoon in something, but, you know, cereal is always a really, I guess it's generally, I can't say always, but generally cereal is a pretty big part of your life growing up, you know, you start off probably eating a lot healthier than you end up eating, you know, like, then it actually start off with the <laughs> fake Captain Crunch, it had, like, oatmeal and things like that, although I did eat a lot of Cocoa Pebbles when I was younger, because that was what my dad liked to eat, so I ate those, um, then, I don't know, for some reason, I just stopped liking, like, chocolate, uh, cereal, for some reason, it just started to not taste as good anymore, so I don't really like to eat chocolate cereal anymore, but, you know, I still love to eat cereal all the time. Case in point, giant bag of fake Captain Crunch. Um, I wish I could buy a giant box of Fruity Pebbles, but cereal is like super overpriced. And they'll be like the smallest little bag or box, and it's like $5. Which is why I get the, you know, cheap knockoff brand stuff, because it's still pretty good. But, you know, comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you like about, you know what you like or don't like about weird knockoff brand cereals or what type of like what's your favorite cereal because mine is fruity pebbles personally and then like i said tricks and after that i don't really know but you know it's it varies you know some stuff healthy like i like the frosted mini wheats um lucky charms are actually really healthy you notice when you it seems really good to eat and then you get it and it's only like five percent marshmallows and it's like mm. You get tricked every time you eat it. It's like you think it's going to be good. Then it's a bunch of like nasty brand cereal crap. It's gross. But, you know, tell me what like your favorite cereal is or least favorite. Because I know mine is just like plain Cheerios. Those suck. Like any plain cereal is pretty bad. But if I had to choose between like cornflakes or Cheerios, it's going to be cornflakes without a doubt. But, you know, let me know, you know what's your favorite, least favorite random stories i don't know if you have some weird cereal stories put that in the comments too i have zero outside of i like cereal that's not a weird story but that's it and the whole tricks pranks thing but you know comment rate subscribe if you like i had to pick a topic today that's why it was a weird one about cereal because i had nothing else so thanks for watching